What is going on, you guys? It's Avian Shafore for you, and I'm back with another awesome uh, model review. This is the Gemini Jets Jet Blue A320 in the new livery, or not new livery. Um, what am I saying? The Jet Blueberry's tail. This is my all-time favorite Jet Blue tail because it just looks like it's just such a nice design. Uh, so yeah, I decided this would be appropriate for a Fourth of July special, and yeah. Uh, yeah, guys, I hope you did. I don't know when this video is coming out. I think it might be coming out on 4th of July, like today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I guess I hope you have or had an amazing 4th of July. Um, even though all this stuff is going around um, in the world, I just hope, regardless, I hope you just uh, had an amazing one. Um, yeah, it's, we gotta we gotta manage everything, you know. So yeah. Uh, so pretty much that's. All I wanted to say, and also uh, for the airport updates, there'll be some c coming. Out, there'll be a couple in the couple of, coming out in a couple of weeks, in the next few weeks. So that uh, stay tuned for that. And yeah, all right. So this is this is the box. Um, yeah, same Gemini Jets box. Not a big deal. A uh, nice light blue band, I guess. Give it the back. 2016 Gemini Jets release. Uh, you can pause and read if you'd like. Um, as I go through these stuff, you, you can you know the drill. Um, you can pause and read if you'd like. I just would like to show just in case people are curious. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the sides and stuff. And then we have... Yeah, and also if you just saw that little uh, switching thing. Uh, the transfer kind of. Um, yeah, that's gonna happen with my camera. I hope it, that doesn't bother you. I'll try my best not to keep on zooming in and out. But yeah. All right, pause and read if you'd like. Information and all that. And then the JetBlue aircraft inside the box. All right, so. Um, I'll kind of zoom out a little bit. So. Uh, all right, there we go. Um, Wow, I mean, this mo I, I don't know why I keep like pausing. Yeah, you see that? Um, that's the only problem I have with this model, is that this, is that, um, it's like kind of tail heavy, I guess. Not, yeah, it is tail heavy. I wouldn't say it, it I guess, it really is. Um, which is a, uh, which is not good. Um, but you know, it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, it, it does get annoying, I get it, but, yeah, oh well. Uh, here we have the, main, I'm not gonna punish Gemini Jets for that, because this is an old model. Uh, couple, came out four years ago? Yeah, so, yeah, it's, so I'm not gonna punish them, I'm pretty sure they fixed it. Um, but yeah, here we have the cockpit windows, windshield wipers. Um, regardless, actually, Gemini Jets did a massive, a really amazing job on this model. Uh, here we have the nose cone. Uh, keep blue and carry on titles. Uh, what's this? Sa static port. Yeah, sorry about that. I keep forgetting what that is. Uh, L1 entry door. Fly fi. Jet blue titles. Uh, nose gear. Uh, then we go on. There is no runway light. Um, which is not. It's not a big deal. The IE. The IAE engines on the A320 family. Uh, the emergency exit doors, red navigation light, um, winglet. Then if we go over here on the back, it's the American flag, a flag, uh, November 834 Juliet Bravo, Airbus A220, uh, rear, rear entry door, I guess. Um, and then we have the very nice jet blue tail. Uh, I think, this is what I see, I think it's like these blueberries are in a bowl because that white part is like a other the, the bowl I guess the out the inner uh, thing uh, like inner part of the bowl and it's like a bunch of blueberries stacked up it's a really nice tail design um, this tail design is actually quite old I think it came out in 2009 um, yeah I don't really like the old jet blue tails like I mean from like when the jet blue had its smaller titles I think they're kind of boring but you know there are a lot of them I like like the stripes for example Oh, whoa, what the heck? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, runway, runway light? No, not runway light. APU housing doors. I'm sorry, what am I saying? I'm kind of rusty for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, 
kind of doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's not like I went anywhere for a long time. It's like it just, um, yeah. Okay. So if we go closer, here we have the runway, the cargo doors here and here, and there should be a green navigation light there. So yeah, it's like JetBlue used to have smaller titles, like, and the jet would be gray and the blue would be blue. So yeah, that was like when JetBlue first started, like 2000, I think, to 2008, 9. And then I got, I think they changed the titles into big, removed the gray and changed it to all blue. And then they started getting those, these tail designs and stuff. Um, I like this, I like, I do like the stripes tail a lot and the bubbles tail. Uh, those are really old. I don't even think those exist anymore. Uh, the jet blue tails. Um, but yeah. Those are my, those were my favorite of those of the early jet blue days. Uh, but the newer ones are this, my favorites are the the prism, blueberries of course, and the bubbles. Not bubbles. Uh, uh, bubbles is the old one. The a balloon's tail, uh, which is on the A321 Neo. Yeah. I have that actually. I actually forgot to take it out and show it in the video, but Maybe in the future I'll probably put them together, but yeah. Also, I just want to say the only reason why this plane is so tail heavy is because I don't know if you can notice, but this plane, its nose gear is a little higher, so that makes this, it's kind of slanting the plane a little bit. It might not be noticeable uh, because of the angle I put it, just because it doesn't, so it doesn't fall. But yeah, that's the only problem with the, I have with the model is that it's really tail heavy. Um, even if I touch it lightly, it's gonna fall, but you know, that's, that's, yeah, that's the only problem. But I do recommend this model. If that bothers you, then I would not get it, but um, if it doesn't bother you and you just love the model, then I would definitely get it. All right, so here we have the nose gear, oh, antenna, and then we have the red anti-collision light, flap slats, aileron spoilers, no step markings. Uh, I don't know what that, oh, those are, uh, those are emergency exit markings. I don't know why I'm rusty a little bit, but then we have the APU housing doors, antennas, not APU housing door, uh, FlyFi box. Haha, <laughs> get it, FlyFi. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, f f uh, stabilizers, and then we have the nose gear, nose gear door, Gemini Jets logo, the no stand hole gear um, yeah some nice markings really detailed model and then we have then we have the APU housing doors um, in the rear there all right guys that should that should be it for this model review thanks for watching guys subscribe comment like and share if you're new put in the comment uh, subscribe if you're new share this video and just an FYI, wait, I don't know if I said this earlier. This is actually the second time I'm recording this video because I'm like so rusty for some reason. Um, but I don't know if I said this in that old video, the other video or this video, but uh, I'm going to be doing a couple of, I'll be in the next few weeks, I'll be doing more airport updates. So stay tuned for that. I don't think it's going to be next week, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the week after or I'm not going to guarantee any days, but like, you know, whenever I have time, I'll probably upload it. Um, so yeah, but yeah, that should be coming in soon because I really enjoyed actually, I actually really enjoyed doing the airport update uh, and I and I saw all the comments and stuff. You guys really enjoyed it too. And also if you guys have any subscriber routes, just leave it in the comments below. Um, and also one thing for this video, uh, I would like to know what you, what JetBlue tail is your favorite. Um, this is of course my favorite JetBlue tail, but I would like to know what yours is. Um, you don't have to share, but I'm just saying, I'm just curious. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Ha hope you had an amazing 4th of July and I'll see you in the next video.